this video I'll be discussing design briefs, the creation of design briefs and their use. Um, now a design brief comes quite close to the start of a project and it probably follows your analysis of your design context or your design situation you've been given by the exam board. Now in a previous um, video I've talked to you about how to analyse the design context, um, a slide that looks a little bit like this here, um, and basically you'll be going through and being given one of these kind of like design uh, context perhaps by the exam board it might be something you've developed as a rationale yourself if you're in key stage five um, but you've probably gone through this and picked out kind of key sort of uh, areas that are important okay so when you go on to um, produce your design brief what you're basically doing is kind of a bit of a statement of intent what you're planning to um, uh, do within the, the project over the course of the, the year or the couple of years that you're studying design technology OK, so what I like to um, do whenever I start off uh, a project is basically start with uh, sort of this general open statement. OK, basically saying what it is that you're going to be designing and manufacturing. In the case here, he's, he's designed a piece of uh, jewellery and packaging. And again, this relates to kind of the uh, the criteria that he's chosen in the, um, the context there. OK, so it's just literally setting the, the scene with a very clear statement of what you're what you're going to design and what you're going to make or manufacture. OK, now moving on from this, um, the, the, cl the clue is in the uh, the name, I suppose. It says design brief. OK, it doesn't say design complex or design lengthy. Therefore, it should be quite brief. It shouldn't be a huge lengthy statement outlining lots and lots of what you're doing. And also it shouldn't be too specific either. OK, um, I do get the question asked, how long should it be? Um, and there's no there's no right answer for this, but I wouldn't say longer than about a paragraph or so for your design brief. Um, and you can include in addition to the brief uh, some sort of initial design uh, specification criteria or design criteria that you're going to kind of work to or try and aim to achieve within your design project. Now, when you're developing the design brief I mean what you should talk about I think is um, referring to the what I like to call the five W's and the one H okay so the five W's being who what where when why and obviously the H being how okay so if we go through the um, design brief in that sense we can talk about who which is very important it's our consumer okay or it's our client or it's our target market we're going to be aiming at okay and it's very likely that if you've done a consumer profile you profiled your consumer and, and kind of understood a little bit about who your target market is you're going to be able to talk about who you're designing for in your design brief and this will be quite important okay so in the case here he's talking about you know uh, anthropometric measurements that you might take from an individual consumer if it's sort of a one-off project okay but you can also talk about you know uh, the the styles and things like this that are going to make it suitable for that person as well okay moving on from that we can talk about what the product obviously is okay and you know what it's going to do and, and some of this can be obviously summed up in the uh, initial design criteria that you're producing as well so what it, what it is you're planning to do um the project where could be to do with where the product's going to be used okay so it could be an environmental issue um, in terms of uh, durability or, or whether it needs finishing and stuff like this um, but again with regarding specifics we're not going to go into detail of specifics so I might talk about oh it's going to be used outside for a period of time or whatever um, in terms of where and when but I'm not going to be saying it will be made of MDF it will be finished with polyurethane varnish i'm just going to keep it quite open because i say it's a design brief it's not a design complex okay so we should keep it quite simple in that sense um why obviously it's why you're obviously doing it um it could simply be to you know uh, cover some of the criteria in the actual um context and stuff that you're actually working on there it could be that you have a more specific uh, aim in mind as to what the product's going to do and in terms of how it might be how long you have to work on the project or how you're going to produce the item but again not going into specifics so you shouldn't be at this point dictating uh, exactly what the product is it should be brief okay um so that's my uh, guide or some uh, ideas about how to develop your own design brief um, hope that's useful to you